What drug did you take once and thought, X93 nope, never again, X94. Salvia. It's a very short trip but I felt so much physical discomfort like my whole body was being shoved into a box despite the fact that I was sitting in the grass with a group of friends. Apparently it's not an uncommon side effect of the drug. Not a drug, but I was told I needed to take a fiber supplement, and went with the fiber pills. Then I went to the emergency room because I felt like I could end tea breath within a few minutes of taking them. Fiber pills swell up easily with water, so they can end up feeling like they are sealing your throat. I now take fiber gummies, and actually enjoy having a little treat, every day. Oxycontin, shit was too relaxing and didn't last long. I had knee surgery and they gave it to me for the pain. I took it for a week and when I wasn't on it I really wanted more. After a week of it I never wanted to touch that shit again. Ambien, woke up in my underwear on my neighbor's porch. For me it was coke. I'm a broke bitch so after spending 80 bucks for maybe an hour's worth of a high I very quickly learned why it's called blow. You can blow through it and all your cash in a few days tops. Glad I got off that shit quick, woulda ruined me. Muscle relaxants. Worst cramps I've ever had when the drug stops working. And you realize you have cramping muscles at the soles of your feet and between all your bones. Tetracycline. Turns out I'm allergic. Heroin. Too good. Knew it'd get its claws in me if I did it a second time. Meth. Did some once thinking it was coke, spent two days strung out and horny as hell. Never again. Percocet. It was in liquid form. I can totally see how people get addicted to that stuff. It's like a few minutes later the world turns into a beautiful place and your problems disappear. The two thing I've taken from this thread is that salvia is the worst drug out there, and that realizing you want more of a drug is instantly the reason to never do it again. My dad gave me a dilated he had left over from his hip surgery because I had a sore neck. I felt an almost overwhelming sense of euphoria. I knew I could never take another one. T meth. I, they taken prescription Adderall nearly my whole life and I wanted to test all these people who told me, you, Regis taking prescription meth, to say the least I don don't, t do either of them anymore. And salvia no doubt. Xenex. Took a bar at a friend's house. All I remember was watching Game of Thrones at a friend's house then next thing I know I'm at my apt and it's a day later. Wasn't a bad experience or anything it was just alright and felt like a waste of time. Plenty of better drugs out there. Dr heroin. It was just too good. That fake weed stuff that was around a little while back. Thought I was going to die. So hot. My sister found me naked passed out in the bathroom with my face against the bottom of the toilet. This really bothered me. I am not a germaphobe but rather germ aware. I didn't take it intentionally, it was added to my weed without my knowledge. FKN angel dust. I overdosed on that shit. Most of them, other than high-grade pot, most give me a disassociative feeling that I hate. Even prescribed painkillers, I stay on them for as short of a time as I can stand. I was given fentanyl in a hospital setting for a lung procedure, they make you black out and go into your lung. I never had a bad experience but I can see why people get addicted to it. I was euphoric and somebody let me go shopping I bought all these blue dress shirts that didn't fit. Like one hundreds of dollars worth. I felt like I was on cloud nine for hours. I'm LSD. It's an incredible drug for many people but unfortunately, I had a bad time. Some parts however, were very fun and memorable. However, due to the amount of anxiety I felt, there's no way I am dropping acid ever again. To quote Alan Watts, when you get the message, hang up the phone. Meth, made the mistake of looking in a mirror, tried to pull my teeth out. Nutmeg, I laughed hysterically for 8 hours then had 8 hours of intense gas pain. So 50% bad, but that 50 was so bad. PCP many years ago. Never again, never again was all I could think. Honestly, propyl hexadrine inhaler. It's a menthol inhaler you gotta eat inside of. The drug is like dirty MDMA, but it's legal to buy an inhaler. Since most folks would tea eat cotton soaked in menthol oil. Salvia was flocking terror. DXM, the active ingredient in cough syrup, gel caps. Teeth grinding, eyes wide as can be, anxiety, paranoia, skin crawling feeling, no sleep for 48 plus hours. It's around a 4 to 6 hour, I am kind of enjoying this but not really, hi followed by more than a day of a terrible come down. Even after I slept I didn't, T feel well for the following week. Never again. Effects her. Wouldn't you like to know, police boy? Got flocked up on salvia once. Once. Oxycodone. It was like experiencing input lag in real life. Extremely frustrating. Can someone make a chart representing the top answers? R. Date beautiful. I know it's supposed to be one but I have two. Salvia divinorum. That was like a taste of insanity and I briefly thought I was trapped in an alternate dimension, never to return home. It was a hell of an experience but for my mental health never again. The other is ketamine. That party got way too weird. We'll never have a full accounting of what happened, but indoor urinating featured. My mom and I shared an edible. It was way too strong. I puked and never ate another one again. Weed. Turns out I'm allergic. Vicodin. I was given a prescription when I had salvatory gland infection. I have never been so sick in my life. Would not stop throwing up. Ended up in the ER. Will not take again. I tried cocaine in high school against my better judgment, it's addictive you know. Anyway, when I was on it I felt 10 feet tall and I was super confident, everything I thought I wanted to feel about myself. Then I came down and was looking for a gun so I could kill myself because I felt so horrible. Worst feeling ever. The worst drug I've ever done is, weirdly enough, pot. Every time I've done it I've ended up having panic attacks and freaking out. Yo. I've done weed, shrooms, 
LSD, and salvia. Love them all for different reasons, but there's one that separates itself from the group, spice. If you want to feel like you're having a heart attack and panic attack at the same time, this can make it happen. It is flocking horrible. Stay flocking away. Antidepressants. Medafinil. Doctor said I was the first person to complain about mood swings and suicidal thoughts. I typically don't have those, 